Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Simply Investing. Uh, this one is just a really a thank you to everyone for subscribing so far. As I'm on my way back, or actually I shouldn't say on my way back, on my way out from the office. Uh, I've made my clients tons of money so for the year so far, so looking pretty good, right? You know, everything's great. What I do want to talk about today is I try to do just answer a lot of questions that have been asked and I don't really have a lot of time I know I haven't been getting these videos out John that tax video is coming I promise you it's coming tonight it's like it's just ridiculous I mean I've been in a risk assessment meeting for oh god last night was like I, I think I got home at like 12 o'clock <laughs> at midnight you know we, we were sitting there all day you know talking about people's screw-ups throughout the training session but but anyway, so here we are. Now I'm gonna get that video out today because I don't have a lot to do. I'm just kind of going out. I'm gonna go golfing with some clients and you know try to win, win, you know, win some more clients for the firm. A lot of people also have asking about, you know, can I manage your money? It's like, well, that's that's personally up to you. I work for a hedge fund down here, uh, Obsidian Venture Capital Funding, and they have a minimum of like i think it was 2.5 million dollar minimum investment into the firm so I, I don't know if you can do that but i can certainly set up my own fund on this fund at some point and see where it goes but typically these hedge funds they're, they're just not accessible to to um to your everyday everyday person average person just and a lot of you can go through interactive brokers and invest through there but I mean you're really not getting in as much of a portion what they're doing is they're lumping everyone's money into one big payment to them and I don't think that's a good way so I actually devised a good um, fund and trading methodology that will ensure that everyone will make a decent amount of returns for the money invested and will be a weekly uh, deposit thing where you don't have to start off with any money. You just have to invest on a weekly basis. So, uh, and it works like you can invest a minimum of $20 to a max of $100 a week. And it's designed so that everyone gets the same level of performance off of their future earnings. And anyone that's not in the same economic category is not allowed to invest. So, like, you could, you wouldn't be able to have a multimillionaire, like someone put in $200 million into his fund, because they would suck up all the profits. And I would kind of screw everyone down the chain, which is what typically happens in large hedge funds. You know, the bigger depositors eke out the smaller depositors. However, However, if you invest on on um, if you invest on future earnings, that opens up every American in in the country, and that's something I think. And with a, an investment algorithm tied to it to ensure constant gains, you know, we're we're putting two and two together and making four. You know, we're not, not even making four. We're putting two and two together to make eight, and like that's that's the rate of return this gets. I practice with it. I we did some trial runs with it so you know maybe in a, I think a couple of maybe next starting Monday this week we might be able to launch it out uh, if you guys have any feedback on that feel free to leave a comment below or email me at simplyinvestingcommunity.com you know yeah or just uh, feel free to contact me via Facebook page I also want to say, you know, guys, I do comment a lot, and I'm sorry if I miss all your comments. Um, I don't intend to. I don't purposely do it. Uh, it's just it's so busy, especially right now with the financial markets being the way that they are. I just don't. I just don't um, have the time, or sometimes I do miss them. Um, the notification system. I try to get to you guys as quickly as possible, but sometimes the notification system just does not go. But if you do have a, a question about a stock, trading, strategy, or anything, 
the best way to do it is to like it on Facebook and comment or post it on my, on the Facebook page. That would be the best way for me to get to you as quickly as possible because I know trading, the faster I get to you, the quicker I give you the information, the quicker you can base your trade. And that's, that's, that's for me too, you know, the quicker I get my information, the better my trades. And I, so the best place, I know comment as much as you guys like on YouTube, I'll try to get to you guys, but the best place to comment about stocks if you want quick feedback is on the Facebook page. A lot of you guys ask like how much do I make during off of trading um, I make enough to be able to afford you know my, my living my house my car uh, I don't I don't necessarily live a lavish lifestyle uh, but I can say I can safely say that you know I have I have the car I want I have the home I, I like not necessarily the home I want but as far as being comfortable with it and liking the home, it it, it fits in fits my needs and you know for a, a single guy like you can't ask for any bigger. I mean, it's just a simple town home with uh, I think it's like eighteen hundred square feet as if you include the garage. <laughs> so you know, just I mean, it's just an everyday average occurrence. There's nothing really too special or spectacular. So um, I you know I, I make a I make a decent amount of living off of it. You know I have put in my savings and stuff like that. So hope that answers everyone else's questions about that because that's kind of where where I'm at on that one. Uh, and what was, another question was how do I determine what stocks to buy? Well, what I like to do is look at first off your uh, balance sheets I like to especially if it's a company I haven't even looked into I like to look at their balance sheets their earning reports their uh, performance have they been hitting their target estimations uh, their um, estimated earnings do they meet them exceed them uh, hit them short a lot of things a lot of things that go into that and then I want to see I look into their customer base do their customers like them do they have great feedback from their customer base or their clientele base uh, what type of products do they have are they innovative are they in that market niche do they own the niche are they the biggest provider of it or are they and a lot of times you know a company can be a great company to invest in if they're not even the biggest too because a lot of companies I invest in, they're not the biggest, but they earn the most money. So that's why they're the strongest in that in that category. Um, so th th that's kind of part of it. And what I also look into it is you, you want to look at the SEC filings because you want to see is, man is the executive management buying stocks or are they selling their shares? Now, don't get alarmed if you see that they sold a little bit of shares because every executive sells, sells their 